The way things are. The 3% man is one of those three men out of a 100 that a woman meets and wants. He is a confident, centered man, who can't easily be swayed by any woman. He not only understands a woman, but also knows who he is as well. This book will help you forge a better relationship, marriage or dating experience. You will learn to find the woman of your dreams and keep her in love with you until the end of time. You will also find the hidden secrets to completely understand women. It covers both the dating world and long-term relationships. The book shows you how to be the 3% man. Keep reading to find out how. If you want to keep your dream woman, you need to learn how to listen to her. If it's time to go on dates, make a firm commitment to it. Set a day and time. Also, if you have your lady in a public place where she is gaining the attraction of men, instead of being jealous, take pride in her. It tells her that you are confident. You have to demonstrate strength in letting her know you can't be kicked around. If not, she thinks you're weak and the level of interest drops. Do not get advice from women, because they tend to shy away from the truth, so as not to hurt your feelings. Don't ask your friend either. Ask yourself, do I want his relationship? The answer is usually no, but if it is yes, you may listen. Many relationships aren't exactly healthy and loving, for instance, our parents. If you weren't brought up with your parents expressing love to one another, the will affect our lives. Women know what they want, and can go after it. A man should learn to take direction in the relationship. Let a woman be feminine. Women don't want to have to make all the decisions. That is a masculine quality. A direct guy has a purpose in life. Women want to relax and just let the guy take total control. Women are about opening up and receiving your love and presence. That is the feminine energy. The masculine energy is all about purpose, drive, direction, and breaking through barriers. The art of understanding. Women and men look for love in different ways. It's familiar with many guys, to say I love you, by the second or third date. Then the lady replies, what? You don't even know me yet. Guys are physical for the most part. From her looks, a guy can see if he is interested or not. He'll look at her hair, her eyes, her body, and have a high level of interest in her, or not. If a guy meets a woman and thinks she is stunning, many times he will look past other qualities that he may not like. The reverse is the case for a woman. She needs to get to know a man for her level of interest to rise. When a guy is engaging his emotions that soon at the beginning, without taking the chance to get to know who she is first, he comes off as needy. Don't be so serious joke or tease a little. You don't have to declare your love to a woman for her to know that you are interested. Chances are higher that you will turn her off immediately. A woman knows when you're interested in her. Don't keep going on and on about relationships, dating, and marriage. It makes a woman feel as though you're smothering her. Tease her, make her laugh. You don't need to compliment her from the beginning. You saying a lady is beautiful or smart will not increase her interest in you if she isn't already emotionally engaged. Chances are, it'll reduce. Let your goal be to put a smile on her face. Exercise your humorous side well. Ask her questions about her favorite things to do, let her tell you what she wants. Keep your conversations lighthearted. Show her you are centered and confident. Act indifferent to show some strength. Show her a good time, and keep it positive. Always maintain eye contact. Keep your focus on her, and her interest level will increase. Women take longer to love than men. While men are throwing the love word around after the second date, it takes a lot more effort for women. The courtship, mystery, and gentlemanly behavior all get into a woman's head. Either consciously or not, both parties score their date. For a man, the physical attributes of the lady will dictate the score he gives her, while for a woman, it may mean how attentive the guy is, or if he opens the door for her, his focus on her. Make her feel safe, let her trust you, and you're on the right track. Ever heard the saying, curiosity killed the cat? The author made a comparison of men and women to dogs and cats. Dogs are man's best friend and will demand affection from anyone. That's guys. Cats stroll around like they don't care. No matter how hard you call a cat, she will only move towards you if she wants to. If you are aggressive, the cat will run off. If you show too much affection, you seem needy. Best thing is to portray a neutral front, and the cat will struggle to gain your attention. Women are definitely like this. Knocking out the competition this becomes very easy when you're the 3% man. You realize that you have no match after all. Out of the 10 to 12 guys a lady gives her number, 99% of them call her the next day and get rejected. But you, that calls her days after, gets her attention. She's left curious. You've passed the first test. 
They like a good challenge. Now, this is not saying women don't want the romantic mushy, whining and dining part of a relationship. They do, but the thing is, that is only necessary after they have invested emotionally. Not before. Take note. It isn't all about you. Being in a loving, healthy relationship isn't all about you, but it is a place to start. So, first things first, do you know what you want? It is not just about knowing. Pick up a piece of paper, divide it into two columns. On the left side, write a list of all the attributes you would want your ideal woman to have. If you could pick, what color of eyes, body shape, skin color, behaviors would you love? On the right side, write down all the qualities you can't have. If we're to be realistic, no woman can have all the features. Better still, make a top 10 pick from both sides and rank, according to priority. This way, you can set a goal for yourself, because you now know what you want. Stick the note somewhere visible, review the note each day. Remember that your taste can change, so you need to affect the change. Now, it's not just about you writing the list down. You have to become the kind of person you want to date because naturally, like poles attract. Where you go to meet women is very important. If you see her in a public place, her guard is up, and you will be less likely to get as close to her as you would want. But, at a wedding, fundraiser, or art gallery, for instance, it is easier, because she feels comfortable in these places as she knows someone you also know, or you both have similar interests. Meeting women on the internet, meeting women on the internet sure has many cons. You are prone to meet a lot of fake people. All you have to do in this case is walk away. The last thing you would want is to be insecure. Fine, you're not getting the ladies you want. Don't stick to the one lady that controls you anyhow. It comes from a place of weakness, and the weaker you seem, the less likely any lady will want to be with you. Control freaks and abusive men are also insecure and portray strength as being in control or being brutal. Realize that every relationship is an opportunity for growth. You also need to make a lasting change. Just as you did for the features of your ideal woman, make two columns. One side for the consequences of not changing the way you acted in the past, then the other part, consider the pleasurable things that can happen if you do change. Making your move. Before you walk up to that girl, make sure to gauge her level of interest in you. Is she looking at you or away? Making eye contact? If she's with a group of friends, behave coolly to make them feel comfortable. Just joke, reassure and make them feel safe. If you want to succeed, joke or tease her, make her smile. Don't give up too much information about yourself. Take charge of the conversation. Whoever asks the questions is the one in charge. Let her do all the talking. Women don't want to know everything about you when first meeting you. She wants to be able to pull that information out of you. The goal when you first meet a woman is to read her level of interest and to get her phone number, so you can later call to take her out. You are merely going to ask for her home number. Keep in mind that there are many shades of no. When a woman has a low level of interest in you, there are many ways she could say no, without mentioning the word. If on the first try, you're telling her about your past relationships, she starts thinking, this guy is needy. He has no confidence and is weak. If you ask for her number then, she could say, I'm unavailable, or even go as far as giving you the wrong line. Again, it's not all about you when a woman's level of interest is below 51%, there's barely anything you could do to fix that. So, look for those that are interested. A woman will give you more tests to make it difficult for you if she's not interested. She will try to see if she can sway you from your stand. When she asks questions, don't give her all she wants. Tease a little. Joke around. Be humorous with your answer. Handle the pressure well. Timing is also very crucial. Many men wonder when they should call a lady after collecting her number. The author's answer to that is that you should leave a few days before you call back. The fact that you didn't call right away keeps her wondering, and this has a positive effect on her level of interest. It is that bad boy behavior that draws the attention of women. It is power. It is confidence. It is a challenge. It is a mystery. You let days pass before calling her to build up that anticipation. When you eventually call, you shouldn't be on the phone for more than 5 to 15 minutes. This call is only to fix a commitment to a date. Don't throw an open question like, Jessica, when can we go out on a date? You will say, Jessica, I'd like to take you to dinner next Tuesday. I will pick you up at, say, 8 o'clock. Would you like to go? That shows that you're not playing and you will stand firm to get what you want. Same goes for those that venture into online dating. Don't leave a bio that says all about you. 
Leave something funny and brief that'll still seem mysterious. It's all in the numbers now. The author made a ranking to guide you so that you know what point you are. Here's how it goes: zero to fifty percent. It is quite apparent she isn't interested in you. She makes no eye contact, says she's busy, keeps her distance, gives short answers to your questions, and doesn't seem to care to know more about you. Fifty-one to sixty percent. She gives you a hard time before giving you personal information, but does so while maintaining eye contact. She may call to cancel or verify a date. She's interested, but it could change if you fail her tests. 61 to 70 percent. This is usually the range where most girls that like you will be. 71 to 80 percent. Here, she is making physical contact, leaning on you, laughing at your jokes, and even complimenting you. 81 to 90 percent. She is pursuing you, calling you, and telling you she misses you. She gives you her contact information without you even asking. She will ask for advice about problems. That is because she trusts you and has a high level of confidence in you. 91 to 100 percent, she's in love with you. Love usually starts at 91 percent. If she's a giver, here she's already showering you with gifts, clinging to you, jumping on you as soon as she sees you. While these ranges are not definite and can't be an identifier, women can behave differently than the level they are. Keep that in mind. The first step. Now you're on the road to your first date. Take her somewhere simple, not necessarily expensive. A restaurant or park or someplace that'll allow you to have ample time to talk and focus on each other. Don't take her to the movies because you'll only get to chat on the road to end from the theater. Let her do 70 to 80 percent of the talking. Make her laugh. Don't compliment her other than when you go and pick her at her place and when you drop her off. A simple "You look nice" and "It was nice hanging out today" can suffice. Don't talk about your past relationships. Don't talk about sex, and do not treat the staff where you go badly. This says a lot about the kind of person you are. As mentioned earlier, the whole experience of dating, how you ask her out, how you got her number, is what turns on a woman. A woman gives it all through her body language. Watch out. Be gentle and funny while you're on the date. Make sure you're the one who ends the date. Then see if your date feels disappointed or not. You also have to run the kiss test. Kiss her on the lips at the right time. After being sure she is at least 70% into you, the right approach matters because you should keep in mind that you aren't going into a relationship for what you can get out of it, but what you can give into it. Not all the women you are into will be available, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't have fun while you're both interested in each other. Keep it steady. It is imperative that you maintain your level of mystery, not just in the beginning, but throughout the relationship. For the first 60 days, be a busy guy. Like you don't call back after every date. You take some days after date night. Preferably, you should call once a week. If she does happen to call you, remember the phone is for making dates, not for giving out information. So you can use the opportunity to set a date, but don't call more than once. Stay off the phone until she is completely head over heels in love with you. By staying off the phone, you are limiting your contact with her. It builds anticipation, and you are a challenge. You only get to loosen up a little bit when she's head over heels in love, but keep in mind that the phone can be anti-challenge. Want to know when it's time to go steady into the relationship? Let the woman think it is her idea. The woman always controls where the relationship is going. She'll let you know when she wants to go steady. Keep dating other women until she lets you know that you are to be dating no one else. And be fun with her. Love is fun. Play with her. Enjoy the moments. Remember, a couple that plays together stays together. Always remember that if you're with a woman, she is going to keep testing you, even if she's in love with you. She still wants to know that when she talks to you, you listen to her. You can't relax on all the things you have been doing before. If along the line you feel the anticipation dropping, you have to take a step back. If you usually call her back right away when she calls you, wait an hour or two. If you always answer the phone when she calls, let it go to voicemail. The L word can come at any time, depending on her level of interest. Just give it time. You are in for a beautiful romance if you understand them. Keep reading to find out more on women. Solving the mystery. Paying attention is just being aware. If you are going steady with your girlfriend, paying attention becomes an integral part of maintaining what you have worked so hard for. When things aren't going well, pay attention to your woman. Women don't lie. They are wired to open up and receive. So, if she feels like you aren't giving her as much love, or she feels like you're not working as much as you used to, she'll tell you. 
Though, she might not say it directly. Once she starts telling you about a nice guy, or about her ex, she's screaming for you to love her, show her your strength and your affection. Men find it harder than women to communicate their emotions. You need to be able to know when something is wrong and confront her about it. Keep in mind that with a woman, you get no points for what you did in the past. Women are emotion-based. So, if you're thinking, oh I did this for you last week, or last month, I shouldn't have to do it again, you're wrong. Courtship continues into marriage. You have to know the right things to say and what not to say. Don't make a comparison of your woman and another. They'll always find a way to test you, to know if you genuinely value them. Be clear-headed and weather the storm. Listen to her, and you'll be okay. The secret to a woman is in what she does, and not necessarily what she says. A woman does not like to tell you things she expects you to know already, but you can figure out what she wants if you have studied her body language well enough. Taking it to the next level. Now that you've understood some of the mystery surrounding women, open your heart to her emotionally. Tell her about those past relationships. Carefully express yourself. Then make a decision and ease into the commitment. Just pay attention to your woman. A woman wants the man to take control and handle everything. She wants to submit to all his love and strength when he is centered and in his core. So, remain in your masculine and let her thrive in her feminine. There are 10 principles of love that you should focus on to keep the magic alive after she is in love with you. They are 1. The discipline of selflessness. 2. The discipline of loving, no matter what. 3. The discipline of being yourself. 4. The discipline of presence and playfulness. 5. The discipline of positive intent. 6. The discipline of loving truth. 7. The discipline of freedom. 8. The discipline of daily passion and intimacy. 9. The discipline of utilization. 10. The discipline of gratitude. Check out the book for more information on the disciplines. Conclusion. If you can master the understanding of women, it will affect all areas of your life. You will realize that even your friends will start coming to you for advice. You will become confident in your skin, and now you will know you have become the 3% man. Don't doubt yourself for a second. Nothing sells more than a well-centered and confident man. Remember that.